Okay, Scott. I was catfishing yesterday. Saw this one here was all swole up. I was wondering what the heck it been eating. It's full of eggs. So guess what? Blue cat caviar is on the menu. We'll pick this up a little bit later. Okay, Scott. Went and caught a big old blue cat. You saw me cleaning it. Here's those eggs. Now, I soaked this in a salt water concentration and what you got to do is make sure you don't use iodized salt you want to use sea salt and what you're doing is you're gonna break this egg sac loose from all them eggs and I, I went and I looked on the internet because what I've done before when I made this is I made some flavored caviar and I found out somebody must have been watching because they got flavored caviar for sale on the internet now. And then here's what we're going to do after we get these egg sacs all busted up. Is what you need to do is, depending on the size of them eggs, you need to find yourself a sieve that them eggs will pass through and kind of strain out all this other stuff. So that's what I got this colander here for. So you mash this, and you're not going to get all them eggs out of there, but you'll get the majority of them. And now, we're going to take this, and we use a finer sieve. And you strain that out of there. So you can see it's not a real complicated process. There ain't no eggs falling out of there. You just want to get some of that extra water out of there because that was a real concentrated salt solution. Now what you're going to do is you take this and it's going to go into another salt bath with this ice in it. And that's going to go and cure, it's going to cure them eggs. So we got to let this sit between 5 and 30 minutes. The longer it sets, the saltier they're going to be, of course. So we'll come back in a little while and we'll strain this off one more time. Okay, well, it sat about 20 minutes. Now in that first solution, they tell you to put 3 pounds of salt and gallons of water. I just I just make it really salty and the second one now if you use warm water two cups of water and a half a cup of salt make sure it's not iodized use that sea salt so we're gonna go ahead and take these ice cubes out of there because that's what I use to cool that water down with we're gonna strain this off now Use you one of them fine sieves and you just shake it around a little bit. What I really like to do is put this in the fridge and leave that in there for about 30 minutes and it's going to go and strain off some more of that water. But I wanted to show you what this is going to look like. You, you see they got them little bitty bloody things in there every now and again from that egg sack. Just pick that out because nobody wants to see that whenever you get ready to eat it. Here that caviar is. Now I was talking about making flavored stuff. Uh, I saw that somebody copied my idea on the internet already. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up putting some of that salmon rub in part of it. And the other part, I'm going to go and put a little bit of that southern whiskey in there and make some whiskey flavored. So, you can use any kind of fish eggs but garfish eggs. Y'all want to remember that. 
You don't want to use that garfish eggs because them things is poisonous and they kill people every year. So, it ain't something that everybody wants to do, but if you want to do it, it's well worth a try because you can put your own spin on it. All right, Scott, get some of that Michael David wine ready. The caviar is just about done. See y'all next week.